Thank you, Rob. And as you saw there, the first ship of the season is now passed under the area lift ridge on her way to Marquette to load iron ore. Then she's going to work her way south to the Sioux Locks in Sioux St. Marie, Michigan. And that is where we find our Peter Kevikowskis. who got an in-depth tour of the locks. Peter, you've been wanting to do this for a very long time. That infrastructure there is so crucial for our and many other nations. Yeah, now, Dan, I have made it here over the last few days. We have gotten an inside sneak preview about what all the Sulox has to offer. And while the first commercial ships are just starting to make their arrivals here in Sault Ste. Marie, this is something the, store, the Sulox staff, as well as the Army Corps of Engineers, has been preparing for for not only days, but months. The Sioux Locks play an integral part in Great Lakes shipping, providing a necessary passage between Lake Superior and Lake Huron, as well as the other Great Lakes. Lately, the roaring sounds of ships and horns have gone silent since the annual federally mandated maintenance period began on January 16th. But for Justin Prue, the head of the St. Mary's River Division, that same three-month period has been anything but quiet. As we start putting the fleet into layup and do a bunch of maintenance and repairs on the fleet, and before we get into that, we have to get the locks prepared for dewatering. So we have large crane barges and tugboats that uh, will come in and break the ice and uh, set stop logs and other pertinences so we can get the uh, lock dewatered and get maintainers going. During dewatering, they remove nearly 22 million gallons of water. Also, crews can get in and around the locks easily during the maintenance period. Leanne Rakheim, the Sioux Locks operation manager, says this annual respite is needed to keep the flow of goods and the economy running during the shipping season and to avoid any possible breakdowns at the Sioux Locks during the shipping season. Well, if we did have an outage, it definitely has a widespread impact nationally and economically. So that's why this period is so important. It allows us to strategically plan and reduce the risk of having an outage during the now season. Rakhime adds, while this annual maintenance period is coming to a close, this is a year-round battle for the Army Corps of Engineers since the stakes are so high. We are continuously doing maintenance, even during the navigation season, so we're always monitoring, we're always assessing. It's a continuous cycle. Peru agrees, adding it's the staff of the locks and the Army Corps of Engineers who keep this vital piece of infrastructure in tip-top shape year in and year out. Uh, you know, we just have a really great team here at the Sioux and really diverse background. Uh, we have, you know, everything from, from electricians to divers. And every single, every single employee, you know, plays a really critical role into the maintenance of the, the winter work. And the Sioux locks are almost open for business. Yesterday, we watched the Coast Guard cutter Mackinac transit through the locks in order to break ice on Lake Superior. You can see the Mackinac enter the locks on the Lake Huron side before the gates are closed and water is pumped into the lock chamber, making her 20, making her climb 22 feet before the gates open once again and she can continue on to Lake Superior. And Dan, as we know, the first commercial traffic is just starting to make its arrival here into the Sioux locks. As Rob mentioned, Lee A. Tregertha is on its way as well. She should make her arrival later this weekend. But as for the first ship that should make its arrival, that is the Edwin H. Gott, who is actually on her way to two harbors to load iron ore. She arrived here shortly before noontime today. Dan? Really cool seeing how that crucial infrastructure works. Some great reporting from our very own Peter Kevikowskis. Thank you, Peter.